Coming up, it's the high school quiz show quarterfinals, and we have Wellesley High School here. <laughs> Taking on Lexington High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Whoa. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host, and today's matchup is the third of our quarterfinal rounds. We are down to just a few teams and the competition is getting fierce. It's getting wild. Uh, the goal is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. Today's quarterfinal matchup has Lexington High School taking on Wellesley High School. Let's get right to it and meet the teams. Here we go. On the Lexington team, we have Ravi, Colin, Devin, and Krishna, and Coach Carrie Darling on the sidelines. Nice round of applause. And from Wellesley High School, we have Teddy, Zoe, Matt, and Vinay. The alternate is Jarrett, and the coach is Robert Cohen. Let's hear it. <laughs> nice round of applause. All right, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. Uh, we're going to start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So, teams, if you're ready, good luck. Which U.S. president had shanty towns named after him during the Great Depression? Yes, Vinay. President Hoover. Yes, uh, what first and last letters of the Greek alphabet are figuratively used in English to mean the beginning and the end? Yes, Matt? Alpha and Omega. Yes, in human anatomy, what part of the respiratory system is also known as the windpipe? Yes, Benet. The trachea? Yes. In 1969, President Richard Nixon used the term silent majority to refer to Americans who supported U.S. military action in what country? Yes, Matt? Vietnam. Yes. Okay, take a look at your screens. You will see a picture. Uh, this guardian figure was made about 200 years ago uh, by the Dayaks, the native people of what island in the South Pacific that is the third largest island in the world? Yes, Krishna. Australia. No, Wellesley, you want to try? Teddy? New Zealand. No, Borneo is the answer, and we'll move on. What is the name of the simple machine that uses a wheel and a rope to raise, lower, and move a load? Yes, Vinay. A pulley? Yes. In November 2015, the World Anti-Doping Agency called for banning what country's athletes from the Olympics because of state-sponsored doping and cover-ups? Yes, Colin. Russia. Yes. In 331 B.C., the Persian Empire was conquered by what king of Macedonia? Yes, Devin. Alexander the Great. Yes. In the French story, The Little Prince, a young boy meets several characters as he travels across the universe. The whole time, he never stops loving and missing what flower on his home planet? Yes, Devin. A rose. Yes. Take a look at your screens. You've got a question coming up right here. Hi, I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. Here's my question. Even though you can't see them, right now there are tiny animals crawling all over your face. Microscopic mites spend their entire lives on our faces, where they eat, mate, and finally die. These eight-legged creatures belong to what large animal phylum that also includes ticks and crabs? And Krishna. Arthropoda. Yes, that is correct. Uh, what country is home to Mount Ararat, traditionally thought to be the resting place of Noah's Ark? Yes, Vinay. Um, Armenia? No. Lexington, you want to try? Call it. Israel? No, the answer is Turkey. Uh, what sheriff is the main villain in the legend of Robin Hood? Uh, Devin? Oh, never mind. Uh, Wellesley, you want to try? 
the sheriff of Nottingham. Uh, in 1968, while living in Cambridge, Massachusetts, what Irish singer-songwriter planned and rehearsed the seminal rock album Astral Weeks? Van Morrison is the answer there. Uh, the catalytic converter is part of which of the following car engine systems? Is it A, emission control, B, air intake, C, cooling? Yes, Colin. A, emission control. That's correct. Math question. What is the decimal representation of the reciprocal of five? Yes, Devin. 0 0.2. Yes. In uh, 2015, what country angrily recalled its ambassador to the Vatican after Pope Francis acknowledged the Armenian genocide uh, during World War I? Yes, Zoe. Turkey. Correct. Boston Bruins goaltender Tuka Rask also plays for the national ice hockey team of what European country? Yes, Matt. Finland. Yes. Most of the planets in the solar system rotate counterclockwise on their own axes. Which two planets rotate in the opposite direction and therefore have retrograde rotation? Yes, Colin. Venus and Uranus. Yes. In 2015, what former prime minister of Italy was sentenced to three years in prison on charges of bribing a former senator? Yes, Krishna. Berlusconi. Yes. On a six-string guitar under standard tuning, the top and bottom strings are named for what note? Zoe. E. Yes. Which of the following capital cities is the farthest north? Is it A, Moscow, B, Warsaw, C, Berlin? Yes, Devin. Moscow. Yes. In 1998, after nearly a decade, the Iranian government revoked its fatwa or judgment against what author of the satanic verses? Yes, Devin. Salman Rushdie. Yes. In flower anatomy, uh, the stamen consists of a supporting filament and what structure that produces pollen? Did he make it? Matt, you're in. Pistol? No. Lexington, do you want to try? Devin. Sepal? No, the anther is the correct answer. In 2015, what organization led by former U.S. Defense Secretary Robert Gates ended its ban on gay troop leaders? Yes, Colin. Boy Scouts. Yes, math question. Uh, the area of a rectangle is 36 square inches. Its perimeter is 30 inches. What are the dimensions of the rectangle? Yes, Devin. Uh, 3 and 12. Yes. Uh, what classic American film includes the line, throw me the idol, I'll throw you the whip? Teddy. Indiana Jones. More specific? Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yes. Okay. In 1603, what king succeeded Queen Elizabeth of England? Yes, Devin. James I. Yes. On his historic mission to the moon, Neil Armstrong brought along a recording of the New World Symphony, a popular piece by what Czech composer? Devin. Vorjak. Yes. In 2015, in an event billed as the fight of the century, what American boxer won more than $200 million when he defeated Manny Pacquiao? Yes, Colin. Floyd Mayweather Jr. Yes. A national dessert in regions of the former Ottoman Empire. What pastry is made of layers of phyllo dough filled with chopped nuts and soaked in honey? Yes, Zoe. Baklava? Yes. What Roman god of revelry is the counterpart to the Greek god Dionysus? Yes, Teddy. Bacchus. Yes, what U.S. state is nicknamed the Wolverine State? Yes, Matt. Michigan. Correct. Often cited as the most powerful woman of the Byzantine Empire, what wife of Emperor Justinian was one of the first rulers to champion the rights of women? Yes, Devin. Theodora. Yes, what popular tourist destination in the Indian Ocean is the smallest country in Asia in terms of area and population? Yes, Devin. Maldives. Yes, Carrie Mulligan plays Bathsheba Everdeen in a new film adaptation of what Thomas Hardy novel? Yes, Colin. Far from the Madden crowd. Yes, uh, what current president of Zimbabwe has been banned from traveling to most Western countries because of his government's abuse of human rights? Yes, Colin. Robert Mugabe. Yes, literally meaning under the rose, what two-word Latin phrase refers to something that is done in secret? Sub rosa is the answer. Uh, named after President Reagan's press secretary, what 1994 law made background checks a requirement for gun purchases from licensed dealers? Yes, Colin. Brady Act. Yes. Uh, what U.S. Act? Oh, I have one more question. 
Uh, that's the end of round one. Let's look at the score. Lexington High School right now, 200 points. Wellesley High School, 120 points. Let's hear it for both teams, guys. Let's go. <laughs> the head-to-head -head round is next. But first, we will take a quick break, a breather. Uh, we're going to get to know the players just a little bit better. I've got a question. Each of you will answer the question. You know the drill. This is how it works on a high school quiz show. Here it comes. If I walked into a store and saw a box on a shelf with your name on it, what would it contain and why? We'll start with Lexington High. Ravi, your answer. I would say a large bag of gummy worms because you can never get enough of me. <laughs> okay. Do you have any with you right now, by the way? I love gummy worms. Uh, Colin, how about you? Uh, I would say the box would contain uh, travel books like Rick Steves, except with my name on them because I like traveling. Good pick. Devin? Uh, you'd probably find a box of you know, frozen pizza because I perform best when things get heated. <laughs> <laughs> like right now, for instance. Uh, Krishna? Uh, I'd have to say some binoculars because I'm always focused on getting that win. Nicely said. All right, Wellesley, hi, your turn, Teddy. Probably a bottle of barbecue sauce. It's my favorite condiment, and I like to put it on mac and cheese, everything else. Oh, yeah, why not? Scrambled eggs, I mean, just load it on. Uh, Zoe? Um, Schrodinger's cat. I'm sorry? <laughs> Schrodinger's cat would be in the box. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> Matt? Um, I'd have to say a picture of me and my twin sister, Katie. Oh, bonus points for the twin sister and for Matt. And uh, finally, you, Vinay? Um, I would say probably chicken wings because they're my favorite food. Yeah, I would love some wings right now, in fact. With the barbecue sauce, we're all set. Uh, all right, we're ready to go head to head. You know the way it works. One member of each team will come forward. Lexington High, who's it going to be? Uh, Colin is coming forward. Wellesley High. Vinay is coming forward. You know what? Come on down. We're going head to head. <laughs> All right, we are about to go head to head. And uh, I've got Vinay on my left from Wellesley High School. I've got Colin on my right from Lexington High School. I say we shake hands and nobody gets hurt. Why not? Okay, well, a little reluctance there. Did you notice that? Uh, as a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers, incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points, and you can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds, so good luck, gentlemen. Here we go. In 1896, who developed a psychoanalytic technique called, yes? Freud. Yes. What is the main religion of Nepal? Yes? Buddhism. No, Hinduism. Uh, what Jane Austen novel features the aloof romantic hero, Mr. Darcy? Yes. Pride and Prejudice. Yes. What famous landmark completed in 1791 is the only remaining city gate of Berlin? Yes. Brandenburg Gate. Yes, in 2015, what comic from South Africa replaced John Stewart? Trevor Noah. Yes, before becoming president, Franklin D. Roosevelt served as the governor of what U.S. state? New York. Yes, what is the chemical symbol for lead? Yes. PB. Yes, in 2001, the euro replaced what currency of Greece? Uh, the drachma. Yes, what Rodgers and Hammerstein musical includes the song Stepsisters Lament? Cinderella. In 1993, who became the second woman to be appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court? Yes. Mm, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yes. Uh, which planet in the solar system is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty? Yes. Ah, uh, Venus. Yes. What country was formerly known as Ceylon? Sri Lanka. Uh, yes. What American novelist is best known for his spy thriller, The Born Identity? Yes. Robert Ludlum. Yes. The Chinese prefix Bay, as in Beijing, refers to what compass point? Yes. North. Yes. In 1608, what French explorer founded New France? Yes. Uh, Samuel de Champlain. Yes. Rhode Island and what other state primarily formed the southern border of Massachusetts? Yes. Connecticut. Yes. On what date in 1941 did the Japanese attack? Ooh. That's the end of round two, the head-to-head -head round. Lexington High School right now, 290 <laughs> points. Wellesley High School, 160 points. Yeah, let's hear it for both teams. All right, next up is the category round with the following categories. Ladies first, an inspector calls, the B-side, Mango Unchained, Take Me to the River, and the Bjorn Identity. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values and players. 
You can confer with your teammates once you buzz in. You're no longer allowed to confer. We're going to have to get your answer. Now, uh, Wellesley High School, you've got a little ground to make up. You do get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Take me to the river. Take me to the river. Questions about rivers. So here we go for 10 points. What is the longest river that runs wholly within the state of Massachusetts? Yes, Devin. Charles River. Yes. So, Lexington, you've, not, you've now got the board. Category? And take me to the river for 15. Uh, for 15 points. What is the second longest river in Africa after the Nile? Yes, Benet. The Congo. Yes. And now you've got the board, Wellesley. Take me to the river, 20. This time for 20, then. The Volga River drains into what sea? Yes, Benet. The Black Sea. No, Lexington, you want to try this? Yes, Baltic Colin. Sea. I'm sorry? Baltic Sea. No, the Caspian Sea. Uh, but, Wellesley, you've still got the board. Category. Take me to the river. 25 points. The Waikato River flows into the Tasman Sea and is the longest river in what country? Krishna. Australia. No, Wellesley. Give it a shot. Uh, Vene. New Zealand. Correct. And you've got the board, Wellesley. Category. Um, take me to the river for 30. Why not? 30 points. During World War II, thousands of British and other Allied prisoners of war died while building a railway and a bridge across what river in Thailand? Yes, Colin. The River Kwai. That is correct. And now, Lexington, you've got the board, although you'll need a new category. Ladies first, please. Ladies first. Questions. This is a new category. Questions about America's first ladies for 10 points. Who was the only former first lady to be elected to public office? Yes, Colin. Hillary Clinton. That's correct. You've still got the board, Lexington. 15 points, please. All right. Ladies first. As first lady who spoke candidly about her battles with breast cancer and alcoholism and later founded an addiction treatment center. Yes, Colin. Betty Ford. Correct. You've still got control of the game. 20 points, please. Uh, ladies first for 20 points. What former U.S. First Lady helped draft the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights? Yes, Vinay. Eleanor Roosevelt. Yes, and now Wellesley High has control of the board. Category? Ladies, ladies first. Ladies first for 25 points. What second wife of Woodrow Wilson made virtually all of his political decisions for him after he suffered a debilitating stroke in the middle of his second term? Yes, Robbie. Edith Wilson. That's correct. And now Lexington gets the board back category. Ladies first. For 30 points. Uh, the nickname Lemonade Lucy refers to what first lady who supported her husband's decision to ban alcohol from the White House in 1877? Yes, Devin. Lucy Hayes. Lucy Hayes is right. Lexington, you've still got the board. You'll need a category. Inspector Coles. And Inspector Calls. This is a new category. Questions about mystery novels. For 10 points, who created two of the most famous literary detectives of all time, Miss Marple and Hercule Poirot? Yes, Krishna. I get the Christie. Yes, and you've got the board, Lexington. Uh, for 15 it. points, please. Okay, and Inspector Calls for 15. Sherlock Holmes and his flatmate, Dr. John Watson, uh, live at what London address? Yes, Krishna. 221B Baker Street. Yes. You've still got the board. Uh, let's keep going, please. Okay. And Inspector Calls for 20 points. What modern master of crime writing is the author of Gone Baby Gone and Mystic River, both set in Boston? Yes, Zoe. Dennis Lehane. That is correct. You've got the board, Wellesley. And Inspector Calls. For 25 points, Humphrey Bogart plays what quintessential hard-boiled private detective in the film adaptation of Dashiell Hammett's novel, The Maltese Falcon? Yes, Devin. Sam Spade. That is correct. Lexington has the board. Uh, we'll go for 30. Uh, and Inspector Calls for 30 points. What author and Hollywood screenwriter wrote the seminal detective novels The Big Sleep and The Long Goodbye? Uh, Raymond Chandler, the answer. Lexington, you've got the board. You'll need a new category. Bjorn Identity. The Bjorn Identity. New category. Questions about famous Scandinavians. For 10 points, as a tall, odd-looking boy who was cruelly teased by other children, what Danish author based his fairy tale, The Ugly Duckling, largely on himself? Yes, Matt. Niels Christian Andersen? No. Lexington, you want to try? Hans Christian Andersen? Hans Christian Andersen is the answer. So, Lexington, you've got the board. Stay for 15. Stay with the Bjorn identity for 15 points. From 1978 to 1981, John McEnroe met 14 times against what Swedish tennis player in an epic rivalry dubbed Fire and Ice because of their contrasting temperaments? Yes, Krishna. Bjorn Borg. Bjorn Borg. Yes, you've got the board. Let's stay with it. Uh, the Bjorn identity for 20 points. Which Swedish star of Casablanca and Gaslight was one of the most popular film actresses of the 1940s? 
Yes, Krishna. Ingrid Bergman. That is correct. You've still got the board. Let's keep going. Uh, the Bjorn identity for 25 points. What Norwegian explorer gave Greenland its name over a thousand years ago, believing that people would be more eager to move there if it had a good name? Yes, Devin. Eric the Red. That is correct. You've still got the board, Lexington. Let's go for 30. Uh, the Bjorn identity for 30 points. What Danish author wrote her memoir out of Africa under the pseudonym Isak Dinesen? Yes, Colin. Karen Blixen. That is correct. You've still got the board, Lexington. Mango Unchained. Mango Unchained. This is a new category. Questions about food for 10 points. According to NASA, astronauts don't eat sandwich bread in space because, well, it leaves crumbs, which are a problem in a low-gravity environment. Instead, they eat what? Mexican flatbread. Yes, Vinay. Tortilla. Tortillas is right. You've got the board, Wellesley. Let's do that. Um, mango Unchained for 15. 15. Take the liver, heart, and lungs of one sheep, add suet and oats, boil it in a sheep's stomach, and you have what national dish of Scotland? Vinay. Haggis. Yes. Mmm, yummy. Uh, you've got the board, Wellesley. We'll stay with that. Mango Unchained for 20 points. What Hindi word refers to a traditional Indian milkshake, typically made from yogurt, spices, and fruits such as mango? Yes, Teddy. Lassie. That is correct. All right, Wellesley, you've got the board category, please. Mango and change for 25. Okay, what spicy pickled cabbage dish accompanies most Korean meals? Yes, Devin. Kimchi. Kimchi is right. You've got the board, Lexington. Go for 30. 30 points. A croque monsieur is a grilled ham and cheese sandwich. It's turned into a croque madame by adding what on top? Devin. Ham. No, Wellesley. Yes, Matt. Egg. An egg, yes. You've still got the board, although we only have the one final category. It is the B side. All answers will begin with the letter B. And for 10 points in chemistry, uh, the terms ionic, covalent, and metallic refer to the three main types of what? Yes, yeah, Zoe. Bonds. Bonds is right. For 15 points, what is the scientific term for a flowering plant that has a two-year biological life cycle? Yes, Devin. Biennial. Yes. Now for 20 points. Group 13 on the periodic table refers to what family of elements that have three valence electrons? Boron family is the answer there. We move on. Uh, still the B side, this time for 25 points. Uh, what Greek hero attempted to fly to heaven while riding a winged horse named Pegasus? Yes, Teddy. Bellerfon. Yes, and for 30 points, what Italian surname that is synonymous with corruption and nepotism was used by Alexander VI, one of the most controversial popes of the Renaissance? Yes, Vinay. Borgia. Borgia is correct. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, there's the bell ending the category round. We look at the score right now. Lexington High School, 525 points. Wellesley High School, 350 points. So there we go. As we head into the final round on High School Quiz Show. Okay, so we're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. Now, here's the way it works. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 20 points. Teams, the clock is set, and good luck. Who was the Democratic nominee for U.S. president in the year 2000? Yes, Al Gore. Yes. What Shakespeare play is about an Athenian statesman during the golden age of, yes, Carl. Team on of Athens. No, Pericles is the answer. In 2015, what British pop singer released her first song in three... Adele. Yes. Uh, name the largest member of the Dolphin family. Yes, Teddy. The Orca. Yes. Uh, the Battle of Gettysburg took place during the summer of what? Yes, Matt? 1863. Yes. Name the author of the popular young adult novel, Eleanor and Park. Rainbow Rowell. In 2015, President Obama rejected TransCanada's application to build what controversial oil? Yes, Keystone no. XL. Yes. Name the largest de desert in Asia. Yes, Devin. Kobe. Yes. In the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz, what actress plays the Wicked Witch of the West? Yes, Krishna. I, I don't have an answer. Sorry. Margaret Hamilton. Uh, the Moon Titan orbits what planet? Yes, Robbie. Saturn. Yes. Name the author of the fantasy book Prince Caspian returned to Narnia. C.S. Lewis. Yes. Uh, what is Europe's second longest river after the Volga? 
Yes, Robbie. Dan, you? Yes, what element that is the most diamagnetic of all the metals has the symbol B-I. Yes, Devin. Bismuth. Yes. What American songwriter wrote White Christmas and God Bless? Yes, Irving Tom. Berlin. Yes. Uh, what South American country? Oh. Oh, my goodness. I can't breathe. Uh, that's the bell, and that's the end of the game. The winner this week, Lexington High School with 665 points. The runner-up, Wellesley High, with 390 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Congratulations for a great quarterfinal matchup. Lexington High School is now going to move on to play in the semifinals. So make sure you're all back here. We'll see you next week right here on High School Quiz Show. One more time for both teams. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Safety insurance. Sometimes you need additional protection, especially when it comes to auto, home, and business insurance. You can ask an independent agent about enhanced coverage from safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. production of WGBH.